Hi everyone, I'm back and today I'm going to show you all how to make pumpkin pie. Here's what you will need. You will need pumpkin puree. Now make sure you do not get pumpkin pie filling. Don't get that guys. Make sure you get pure pumpkin puree and the only ingredient that's in this is pumpkin. All right, you wanna make sure you get that. Now, this is a 15 ounce, one 15 ounce can. And this recipe um, will be enough for one nine inch pumpkin pie. You're gonna need ground cinnamon. You're gonna need allspice. You're gonna need one 14 ounce sweetened condensed milk. You will need one tablespoon of pure vanilla, two slightly beaten, large eggs you will need just a pinch of salt and you will need pre-made pie crust and that's what i have here so now the first thing let me put this one in the refrigerator the first thing that i'd like to show you is i went and bought a nine inch pie pan and now what we're going to do we're going to open this up just like so let me take my scissors and open this up okay and we're going to put this pie crust in and there's nothing hard about this guys this is so simple you don't need to know how to crimp the edges or anything because i never do i don't crimp the edges i just put it in there and let it go guys and it always turns out perfect you hear me okay so here's what we're going to do all right we're going to take this pie crust and there's a hole right there but guess what it's okay because i'm gonna seal that bad boy right back up okay so let me move my ingredients out the way we're gonna lay this pie crust in here just like so okay and then i'm just gonna take my fingers and seal that up okay push this down in here make sure you press it right up against the edges all right all right and then let's see let's get it in there first and then I'm going to show you how to mix up this very simple, very simple pumpkin pie filling. So much fun to make, so easy and yet so tasty, guys. You hear me? Trust me when I tell you this. I'm so excited for this pumpkin pie video. You all have asked, so many people have asked. You asked for the sweet potato pie, I did that. And then I had so many of you also asking for pumpkin pie. So here we are, we're in Gina's kitchen today and we're making pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna do a mukbang on this. And for you all that don't know uh, what a mukbang is, it's at the end of the video where I'll taste the food and sit down at my table and talk about what the food tastes like and different things. So make sure you stay tuned to the end so that you can see the mukbang where I taste the food. All right. See, this is how I do it, guys. No pressure in this kitchen. No stress. I don't stress out in my kitchen, guys. I just, hey, I just make the meal, whatever it is, and know that it's going to turn out beautiful like it always does. I'm happy when I'm in my kitchen, guys. I am totally in my element when I am in this kitchen. This kitchen is like my sanctuary. <laughs> I'm so serious. I am so serious, guys. I am having so much fun. Well, let me show you this. I'm babbling on, but let me show you the pie crust. See, I've just kind of molded it to the pan, and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, all right? But... <clears throat> Well, let me put it in the freezer, actually. Okay, so that's in the freezer. But what I was saying was, I, my passion is cooking, and I am having the time of my life sharing my recipes with you all. I have so much fun reading you all's messages and responding back and making requests that you, you know, making you all have requested foods, and I'll make it. I'm having so much fun. This is what I love to do. And I've realized that this here, this is the gift that God has given me. And I'm so thankful for my gift. And I want to share my gift with the world. All right, there's that. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and put, let's slightly beaten these eggs. Just like so. Here you go, put those in there. Make sure it's two large eggs, all right? I'm not gonna use my stand-up mixer today. I am going to use a handheld mixer. So when I go and mix my uh, puree up, I'm gonna turn the video on pause so you don't have to hear the loud noise of the handheld mixer. All right, so now we're gonna put some cinnamon in. Now I want you all to put as much cinnamon as you like in, okay? Cause I don't measure my spices, all right? That's cinnamon and I like to put all spice guys. I'm not one of the people that's a fan of the nutmeg, but honestly, if you like nutmeg, put you some nutmeg in there. All right, this is ground all spice and I totally love it. I'm gonna put some in there. Give me a fall. I feel like all spice and cinnamon are fall flavors. All right, let's go ahead and put that pure vanilla in just like so. All right, and believe it or not, we're gonna put this whole 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk right on in, guys. And we're gonna scrape this goodness out. Scrape it all out, guys, because we want all this goodness. You hear me? All right. Let's get it all out. There we go. Scrape one more time. All right, beautiful. And then, I wanna put just a pinch of salt. And when I tell you guys a pinch of salt, just a pinch, right? About that much. A little less. All right, one more pinch. And I'm tossing the rest of that in the sink. <laughs> All right, the sink, uh, the sink, the salt brings out the flavor in the pumpkin. It, it does. It, it gives it a different flavor. All right. So now let me put these spices away and I'm gonna get my handheld mixer out. It's right here beside me. I'm going to mix this up and I'll be right back. Okay everyone, I'm done mixing up our pumpkin puree mix all right and now it's time to fill up our pie crust now here's what you need to do um preheat your oven to 425 degrees all right because here's what we're going to do we're going to cook this pie at 420 degrees for 10 minutes after 10 minutes, we're gonna turn it down to 350 and bake it for 35 to 40 minutes until the middle does not jiggle anymore. So let's get my pie crust out the freezer. All right. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that a beautiful color? Let me wipe my mess up, get my pie crust. <clears throat> I cannot wait to eat this pumpkin pie tonight. Do you all hear me? There you go. You know what, I'm actually, honestly, I'm wondering, I'm seriously wondering, guys, if I can make a second one, do I have enough to make a second one? No, not really. See how there's not enough. I was thinking about it for a second there. All right, I think that right there's enough, because I don't want to overfill it. Because you know how it raises up a little bit in the oven. So what you want to do, go ahead, Smear it out just like so. All right, let's get that off of that crust because we don't want that to burn. Beautiful. All right, we're going to get this in the oven for 25, 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it's going on 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. And I'll be back to show you what the pumpkin pie looks like. Be back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Our pumpkin pie is out of the oven. It's cooked for 40 minutes on 350 degrees, 10 minutes at the beginning 
on oh my goodness what did I put it on guys <laughs> oh my gosh uh, 425 hold on hold on guys hold on let me double check my recipe here I had it okay so when I first started it I put it on 425 for 10 minutes after the 10 minutes I turned it to 350 for 40 minutes look guys pumpkin pie 101 look at this pie isn't it beautiful so now here's what I need to do well you'll know when it's done when you do like this and your middle does not jiggle anymore, okay? It's all ready. And what I like about this, guys, what I like about putting it on 425 for 10 minutes is it helps to get a nice, beautiful golden brown color. You know, it's not pale, right? You see how it has that beautiful golden brown? I like that. I really like that. Okay, check it out, guys. If you all never had this, make you some make you some and use this recipe i promise you won't be let down now here's what i need to do i have to let this cool down before i cut it so i'm going to push the video on pause and then i'll be back and then i'll sit down in my kitchen table and you all can follow me to do the mukbang be back everybody okay everybody take a look now i've already cut down into it because my son just he just couldn't wait so i cut him a piece out but you do want to wait guys honestly you want to wait until it cools down enough because otherwise it won't be set up it'll kind of go like splat on your plate his didn't but it didn't set up as well as i <coughs> excuse me as i wanted it to because we didn't let his cool down. But now that it's cooled down, I'm gonna cut down into this bad boy and let you all know what it tastes like. Give me one second. All right, let's get a good picture on this. Okay, everyone, look at this. Now, this, this right here, this is what your pumpkin pie should look like on Thanksgiving. This is how nice and tall and beautiful your pumpkin pie should sit up. As long as you let it sit, give it enough time to set up. All right, isn't that beautiful guys? Isn't this beautiful? Okay, I'm gonna plate this up. Really quick, I'm gonna take my husband a piece and I want you all to meet me at my kitchen table. Be right back. Okay, everybody, let's dress this pumpkin pie up. Here's what I'm going to do. I have to do it, guys. I know, I know, I know, but I have to. Right now, I'm digging down into some vanilla ice cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If we're going to do this here, if we're going to do this in Gina's kitchen, guys, oh, we're going to do it right. You hear me? We have to. Mm, I got to eat that right there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me put my ice cream up, guys. If we're going to do this. Oh, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. Look at that. It's a, The pie is almost gone. <laughs> All right. Got to have this. You got to have this. Okay. Is it going to squeeze out for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See that right there? That right there? Oh my goodness. You hear me? This, let me, I gotta lick that right there. Mm, mm, mm. This is love. You hear me? If you ain't never had love before, this right here, this is love. All right. Now, and then, eggnog. Guys. You gotta have you some eggnog with this pumpkin pie. I'm gonna pour me some eggnog. Oh yeah. You gotta have some eggnog. Look how beautiful. And I cannot forget the Cool Whip on top of my eggnog. This really seriously is reminding me of Christmas morning and Thanksgiving morning because I drink eggnog with Cool Whip on it while I'm cooking. Meet me at my table, guys. I know I keep saying it. <laughs> I keep saying meet me at my table. But really meet me at my table right now. 
Okay, everyone, let's give this a try. Lord, please bless over this meal, this pie. Thank you for feeding me another day. Thank you for all your blessings. Amen. Here we go, guys. All right, and I, I have to let you all try this. You know you're going to get that first bite. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I'm going to try to get some ice cream on there and a little bit of Cool Whip, okay? All right, hold on. Let me make it look really pretty, guys. That first bite has to be beautiful, okay? Mm. Here you go. Take that first bite, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Got you some Cool Whip. Got you some pumpkin pie. And then you got vanilla ice cream. Taste that right there, guys. Right there. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. Mmm. If you want a good pumpkin pie, try this recipe. You'll love me for it, guys. You will love me for this recipe. And now, it's so simple. It's so easy. It tastes so good. And what I love about this, I love that it's not too sweet. We use that one can of sweetened condensed milk, but it makes it so perfect, so velvety and smooth. It is just beautiful. And like I said, not too sweet. Try this recipe. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to make it, guys. It's so easy. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I got to eat that. Hold on. Mmm. Mmm. And it's a tad bit, just a tad bit warm. It's still warm. It's melting my uh, my Cool Whip and my ice cream. Mmm. Look at this, guys. Bite that right there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the crust is so good, guys. Oh! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want this on your Thanksgiving dinner table. You do. You do. I know a lot of you think that I wasn't going to make it. It's getting so close to Thanksgiving. Mm. Mm. And I hadn't made it yet. But I was going to make it. Oh, man, is this good. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Make sure you eat this with ice cream and Cool Whip, guys. You have to. You have to. It's so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm going to try some of my eggnog, guys. I, lo I love eggnog. Got it all on me. Ooh, wait. Mm. If you all enjoyed this recipe, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. And make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome videos. Guys, the crust on here. So delicious. Look at this. Look at this. Let's see. Oh, I got the Cool Whip right there on the crust. I wish I could show you. Mmm. It's just so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Make sure you try that trick where you cook it on a higher temperature for about 10 minutes and then turn the temperature down for the 40 minutes. It really makes you have a nice crispy crust. Mmm. Nobody likes to have a soggy crust, right? So you try it that way. And I promise you, you'll have the best crust ever. Mmm. And it doesn't get overdone. It just, it turns out so perfect. And when you have a golden brown crust, it tastes so good, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Look at my hair. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
I have to do something with my hair tomorrow. I know I'm looking a mess today, but I don't care. I wanted to get this video in for you guys. You know, I appreciate you all so much. Everybody that watches my channels, everyone that watches my videos, everyone that messages me, I appreciate you all. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I have so much fun messaging you guys back. But one thing I want to tell you all. When I first started my channel, um, I mean, I might have had like 10 views or so. I messaged some people that I like to watch on YouTube. And I asked them, I said, hey, can you check my channel out? Let me know what you think, how I'm doing, if I'm doing everything right. I never got a message back. And I was watching like these people faithfully, right? I never got a message back and I told myself, if I ever get anybody to message me, I'm going to make sure I message every single person back. You hear me? And I try to do that every single night. Every night, I make sure I take about 40 minutes of my time when I get into bed to message you all. And now, um, there is lately, there's been so many people messaging me. And if I don't message you back, I apologize. It's so many messages. I can't get to all of them. But I excuse me but I love you all and I appreciate you all and if I could get to every single message I would but I'm going to continue to take time out of my day out of my night every night to message back everybody that I can until I fall asleep and then when I fall asleep I just do the next messages for the next day so if I ever don't message you back, it's just because I just couldn't get to it, right? I really wanted to tell you guys that. <laughs> I really did because I don't want any of you all to feel how I felt. Like in the beginning when I started my channel and I messaged them and I asked them, you know, a question and I never got a response back and I thought, if I get it, if, if I get somebody to message me, I'll never do that. <laughs> but it's right here, guys. Mm, mm, mm. You have to, you have to try this recipe. It's so good. Why is the crust is so amazing? Mm -hmm. And as always. Mm. God bless. Have a great night. And thank you all for watching. Good night.